So we're going to start with our root and a little slide or glissando up to that root and then put on the brakes with a staccato hit. So, and I'm just giving a little muted sound again. Now instead of doing my trill, we have trills from the root, whole step, the third, half step, and the fifth, a whole step. Instead of doing that, I'm going to do a half step trill this time. And I want to wait till the uh, till the swing starts. I want to have a hesitant trill, so I don't I don't want nice and, and clear like that. I want to have this. swing sound. And I'm using my pick, my thumb pick is a flat pick. I'm using this, that sort of, with the, uh, the, not the broad side of the pick, but the point. But you can also use, for you thumb pickers out there, you can just use your thumb pick and your first finger. And uh, that's good for the rhythm too, because you can get, a, so that sounds nice as well. But however you want to do it. I'll do the, the thumb and finger so you can understand because flat pickers know how to do this. So, get, you and then hammer pull off half step only from the root back to the major seven and then the root again, the arpeggio out to the, the octave and then from the octave a half step lower. And then another half step lower, so a little chromatic. And here's where we use our space. I'm just going to take that sixth fret and choke it up and give it that little swing. That's just fifth fret. And that's our flat seventh. So this is our ninth. five again. After that, five comes to four. And then a little open root. And then the third. G7. So I'm just playing a little pause there. I can hit it if I want to. And then we're going to define the fact that this is a dominant chord with our flat 7 right off the bat. And then this little choke was going to take it into the 6. So I get this 13th sort of um, tension there. And I'm going to take it from the half step below and give it more of that pausing uh, space we talk about. And so I want rest, rest. And in the meantime, a little subtle decline. Now I'm going to take the five of this G7 arpeggio and I'm going to do a whole step from that five trill. And then the half step lower back up to my six that I'm defining and then the five three one and chromatic from that one down so it's and you'll see me always doing moving my hand because I want to keep that rhythm of going uh, what's what's in my brain Slow down a little bit. I want to hear that swing. So you can hear what's going on. Now, we're going to go ahead 
to our next chord, which is a C7. Let's go ahead and make this a separate video so we don't get one too long. So you can work on that portion, go on the next. And like I said, this isn't for real beginners. This is for somebody who already has a little bit of a grasp in, in these elements and wants to learn how to play uh, more of a swing style, Django-esque. This isn't a Django solo. And we'll get a little bit of that going in there. We'll talk about that in a minute, though. 